Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to reset your two factor authentication on your Binance account. So let's get moving. Okay, so the big news is Binance got hacked. Uh, looks like the attackers were able to do some uh, phishing and spoofing and all that other crazy stuff they do to gain access to some accounts, including uh, some two-factor authentication codes. So we don't know the whole story yet, but the recommendation for your own security is to reset your two-factor authentication on your Binance account. So let's do that. I'm going to head over here to my Binance account. I'm going to get myself logged in. You'll notice I'm using a password manager. Uh, that's almost a must these days. All right. Now I'm going to enter my Google Authenticator two-factor authentication code, my temporary code. All right, that gets us in. Now what we want to do is uh, go over here. If you don't end up on this page, I guess it's just the home page. Well, maybe not. <laughs> uh, I think you can get there by doing this. Right. So if, you, if you're not on this page, just go up to the account icon and just pull up the uh, settings page for your account. You'll notice here that Google Authenticator is enabled and there's a button here that uh, says disable. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disable it. All right. And then it wants my login password. All right. So I can go over here to my password manager and get a hold of that. Or you can just type it in. Right. And then you're going to have to enter your current Google Authenticator code one more time to get into these settings. All right. All right. So I'm in the settings. I'm not going to save that. Now it's telling me, oh my gosh, you've just disabled your two-factor authentication. You should re-enable it. All right, so that's our intention anyway, right? We just disabled it so that we could uh, disable the old code, and we're going to re-enable it right away. There's no reason to not, not to. So I'm going to hit the Google Authenticator. It's more uh, secure than SMS uh, two-factor authentication. People can spoof your phone number and those sort of things. Uh, all right, so I've already got the app on my phone, and I'm going to go ahead and share my phone with you guys so you can see what's going on here. All right, so I am in the Google Authenticator uh, app at the moment on my phone. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, you know, there it is, Google Authenticator. We launch, and there you can see I have a Binance uh, code generator, right? So, uh, and that's my old one. I, I'm going to get rid of this one and replace it with a new one. So let's move to the next step. All right, and there is the backup code. So this is very important. That uh, text code right there, you can back up and store in a safe place. Maybe write it down on a piece of paper, uh, put it in a, a safe location away from your computer, or you can save it on uh, a flash drive and keep the flash drive separate from your computer. Okay, or better yet, just uh, save it on an encrypted flash drive and keep that separate from your computer. All right, so uh, here's what we're going to do with the phone. Uh, first of all, I'm going to hit the plus icon up there at the top on my Google Authenticator up here. We're going to hit that plus, and we're going to do uh, scan barcode, right? So we'll hit scan barcode, right? And then we're just going to scan that QR code into our phone. Now, you'll notice if I go down to the very bottom that I have a new Binance code generator here. This is the current one. And so I don't need this old one anymore, the one I had at the top. So I'm going to hit the pencil icon this time up in the right corner, right? And I'm just going to get rid of that Binance, the old one, right? It no longer works anyway, so there's no reason to keep it around. I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to remove it. And then I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and drag the new one up to the top. I can just put my finger on that hamburger menu there and just drag it upward. Uh, and I want it just closer to the top because I tend to use this one a little more than the others. All right, there it is, right under Coinbase. That's the way I like it. All right, and then I'm just going to tap that check bar and put it in. Now, the next step that I'm going to go to is, uh, okay, they're telling me once again I should write this guy down, uh, and that's fine. 
uh, like you said, put it in a safe place. And then uh, we're going to go to the next step after that. And here we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to put in our current password and then uh, the Google Authenticator code of the new code generator, right? And then uh, enable. All right. Using that new code lets them know that you are you do indeed have control of that phone. And there, we're back to where we were. I'm not going to save anything in the browser, right? Don't save your passwords in your browser. It's not very secure. Uh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. But you're much better off with a password manager. I'm using one password, but there are others. Uh, LastPass, Dashlane, all those others. All right, so I'm going to get rid of my phone here. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Uh, also, you'll notice I got an alert from Binance that I just reset my Google Authenticator. All right. No big deal. It says I can't withdraw for 24 hours, which is fine with me. Uh, they have withdrawals disabled anyway. All right. I'm just going to stop mirroring there. And there you have it. So we've got uh, Google Authenticator has been re-enabled with a new code and the old code is gone and in the process I went ahead and backed up that code uh, which can be used if you lose your phone really not uh, necessary uh, today all right so there you go if you have any questions about anything I did please put them up in the comments uh, I'll do my best to get them answered and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in L.A. Throw out any questions that you may have, and I'll do my best to get them answered on the fly. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. If you subscribe, there's a little bell there that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me, and hope to see you again soon.